Why, hello everybody, welcome, my name is Ruby Dong, welcome to today's episode. As you can see, I'm over here at the swamp that I was talking about last episode, how I was uh, going to go over here and gather some clay, I was hoping to uh, gather some clay off uh, in between episodes and come back with you guys with uh, hopefully smelting that up, however, uh, I kind of realized after traveling here, um, the swamp's a little small, <laughs> it's a total of a... Uh, how many trees is that? Eight trees, I think. I don't know. It's a one, two, three, five plus the four. Nine trees. The swamp here is a total of nine trees. So, uh, not exactly a very expansive uh, <laughs> clustering of a swamp. But uh, I did find over here uh, that there is apparently extreme hills, which I find interesting. Uh, there's just this massive cut into the mountain over here. So that actually is pretty cool. It's just a sheer cliff over here. I don't know why, but I really like that. So, oh, there's an enderman around here, it sounds like. Oh, yeah, there he is. Can I take him on? Nope, there's a zombie here instead. Okay, cool. But, yeah. Uh, oh, there he is. I'm probably going to die to him, but... Oh, took grass and left. <laughs> okay, then. It's impossible to kill these things. I've only killed them once, so... Not exactly up. Okay, I'm getting a little distracted here, but yeah, uh, sadly this does not look like it's good clay terrain, so probably going to wind up uh, giving up on this area, but um, I did want to show you guys what it was like before uh, I just flat out left it, because uh, this is some interesting terrain here, but sadly it's not the terrain I was hoping for, so going to have to find a new place to try farming a uh, clay. So. Uh, I'm going to be back with you guys with a new swamp area, hopefully, so that way we can begin doing that. So, I'll be back with you guys with this new terrain scouted out. And, of course, while I'm out here hunting, looking for a nice swamp right here on the border, just right down this line. If I follow this straight, this goes all the way to my base, uh, because this is uh, the border I generated while I was mining. I turn around, I find another! God dang! Mushroom Island biome. How did I do this? I don't know if this is the same one that I found last time, or if I genuinely just found a god dang second mushroom. Oh, wait, I think this is the same one. Okay. Wow, this is really close to my base. Like, really close. Holy cow. There's just mushroom... Uh, the, um, mushroom ma cows? The... Oh, my, they have a name. They're escaping me right now. But, um, yeah. They, uh, apparently this is really close to my base. I might as well, like, bury some stuff around from here. Like, I should have grabbed, like, a silk touch pick. Grab some of this, uh, mushroom dirt. Uh, but yeah, apparently this is, like, stupid close to my base. I didn't even realize that last time I was, uh, here. But yeah, wow. Uh, probably gonna be doing something with this in a handful of episodes. Because I actually just want to build something here. This is a very, very different biome. So, Yeah. But now, time to continue searching for the swamp. Uh, probably should make a boat. Didn't bring any wood. There's no wood on this island. Whoopsie. That's a problem. Uh, but yeah. Uh, time to... Uh, time to uh, get back to looking for that swamp. Alright! I have finally found a swamp! And I also found one of these things. Uh, the desert wells. Uh, I believe is what they're called. Uh... I don't think they do anything, but ooh, apparently they gave cactus. But I found one of these. And it's cool. So yeah, found one of that. But yeah, also now have a swamp. So I can now uh, be in going through here and getting all the clay for today's episode. So uh, I'm just going to begin doing that, and I'll be back with you guys, hopefully with a nice inventory of clay. Okay, as I'm sitting here mining out clay, I also made a very interesting discovery. I've been mining out quite a large area of clay. I've built up a small reserve not too much currently I'm slowly planning to fill this out over the next little while however I turn around I found something interesting while mining clay you know what that is oh boy that is something I'm gonna explore this before I continue I want to get this on camera because I have yet to see this so that over there is the new biome that was added in this update. So, that means I can go over here and use my axe to get some of the wood from here and some of the saplings 
so I can begin uh, getting all the resources here at my base. Um, so I actually can show off what was out of this update. So let me just go over here very quickly and show you guys it. So, uh, this is the new jungle biome. This is the new tree type that was added in this area. Let me just go over to the edge here and uh, grab one of these small trees. Cause that sh this should be easy to mine. It was very tall. Holy cow. Um, I'm going to yield a lot of wood from this. Uh, you can see it's quite a large biome as well. This isn't, uh... A very puny thing. This is actual like thing thing. So I uh, just mine this out. Let those saplings fall as I give a little tour now. This is the new biome. Um, just a lot of vines and some big trees. Some big trees. This place is uh, filled with very large stuff. I don't know if there's anything else in this biome. Uh, if I remember correctly, there is a. Uh, Mm, where is it? Uh, just vines and leaves? Is that it? I could have swore there was like one other thing that happened in this biome. Where is it? Am I just blind? I think I'm just blind. Uh, or I'm wrong. Either way, uh, this is what the biome is like. So, probably going to do, uh, something with this in the future, because this is an amazing place with wood, and it's like, uh, basically a straight line from my base, so... That's nice. That's very nice. So, uh, hopefully, uh, can find whatever I was talking about. Swore was out here, but I guess it's not. Mm. But either way, it's time to, uh, get back to that swamp and continue mining the clay. So, I'm gonna go jump right back over there and actually be, uh, making progress, uh, for today's episode, opposed to just exploring this. So, be back with you guys, uh, hopefully with that inventory of clay with no more distractions. Okay, I've gone through and collected a nice full thing of clay now. I'm just outside of a swamp. I actually uh, dredged the bottom of a river right over there. I don't know if, yeah, you can see a little bit of it over there. Uh, for the last little bit of it, because I, uh, once again, the uh, swamp didn't give me enough. Apparently, river's really good for clay. I was getting more clay in the rivers than I was in the swamp, so gotta keep that in mind for the future. But while I was scavenging the river, I came across a little village here. So I think this is just a little cool thing. A lot of villagers. An overwhelming amount here. I don't know how there's so many here in this one village. But yeah, I also uh, decided to raid this uh, librarian shop for the books. Because I do need books for the project I'm working on. So I just got some extra books from that little raid. Uh, what's in here? This looks like a thing. Oh, is this the... Just the outside is leaked in, apparently, and apparently the windows are uh, blacked out. That's a good little thing. Uh, but yeah, I now have uh, all of this. Uh, there's the swamp over there, by the way, in case anyone was curious. But now it is time to begin journeying home. So, I uh, got a, I believe I have everything packed up. Yep, yep. Uh, probably want to swap out these melons to be on my main bar. I only have a little bit of melons left, so I'm going to have to do this uh, on the low. So... Time to get home and begin uh, placing all the clay in. So, I'll be back with you guys over at the house. Okay, I've made it safely back to the base. Got a little bit of clay on the way as well. So, I am now absolutely a bursting with resources. So, it's time to put all that into my chests and place down all the clay to begin breaking it again. Probably going to need to make a new shovel. Because, uh, yeah, this shovel... I'll only an unbreaking three shovel, but I've almost gone entirely through it. Just mining clay, mind you. I haven't mined any other resource but clay with this shovel. So, yeah, that's interesting, actually. So, now it's time for me to go through and put in all the wood and saplings I got, uh, along with the books over to their appropriate chest and be in place down the clay. So, I'll be back with you guys, uh, presumably mining out, smelting all the clay. Okay, all the clay has been placed for me to begin breaking it. Uh, cover another floor and covered a little bit more this time, actually. Apparently I hauled back even more clay than uh, I did last time, which I believe that is actually true. Um, I did haul back like probably like an extra stack and a half or so of clay, I believe. But yeah, this is now the coverage I have on clay. So, it is now time to go and get myself a some more uh, wood to begin smelting all of that up. Okay, I've just came back from the wood farm and now it is time to begin cooking up all of the wood that I've just farmed. So, just have to do that quickly. That's not how I should be doing that. 
just need to throw all of this into these furnaces and begin the slow process of making enough charcoal to begin fueling all of that clay over here. So I'm going to begin doing that. I also want to need to uh, do that for these ones. But yeah, now I just need to uh, do all of that. Oh, there was iron here apparently. That's nice. But, oh, more iron. And another more? Yes, more iron. Sweet. I got, found some secret iron apparently that I didn't know I had. So, now I'm going to begin doing the slow process of that. I include a few clips of it. But yeah, guys, hopefully when I come back, uh, you guys will see a nice brick roof overlooking the entirety of this farm. Okay, I have now gone through, broken all the clay, cooked up all of the uh, clay balls, and used up all the charcoal I've been making, and I've got a nice stash of bricks now. So, it's time to grab all that I can carry, which I think could, can be all of it. Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, yeah. Okay, and begin building with it. So, ooh, I'm gonna put torches while I'm uh, thinking about it, because that area needs to be lit up badly. So, I am now going to go over there and begin constructing the roof. So, I'll be back with you guys with the roof in place. Well, as much of the roof in, in, pl in place as I can get. So, let's see how much is gonna be in place when I get back to you guys. And the roof has been done. And with some spare bricks left over as well. So I actually can uh, build something else with some bricks. But the entire roof here has now been covered up and lit. So I just now need to work on the exterior bits. Uh, all these pillars here. And the actual above uh, area there. Why is there light still coming through? That should still be happening. But yeah, now I can actually begin working on... The more technical stuff, in which case, if I come around here, just gonna eat a little bit. I need to swap over to a new food, new food source, like next episode or something. I really, really need a new food source. I realized after uh, uploading my videos that like four videos in a row had me eating in the thumbnail, and I was kind of like, oh, I probably should do something about this. This is a problem. <laughs> but yeah, as you can now see. I have uh, covered up uh, quite a bit more of this area because this area needs to be completely flat. So uh, I also got some spare torches just for that so I can begin actually lighting this area up here when uh, that is finished. But now I actually need to uh, go through here and actually clean up some of the missed spots because I was doing this without a pick previously because I was trying to save on inventory space. But yeah. I can now uh, need to smelt up some more stone and come over here and slab over more of the area. After that, I can begin farming more wood for more doors, in which case I need to farm for quite a bit. So a lot of farming ahead of here. So let me place down some more of this and I'll be back with you guys, hopefully with uh, more resources for the next part. Okay, I've gone through and filled in the rest of the slabs here. You still need to light it up, the big light problem, obviously. But I've also gone through and put in a significant quantity of doors. So, um, I also did a little bit of research on uh, doors and what qualifications they count as. and uh, Because apparently a door only qualifies if it has... Uh, sunlight on one side of it so I actually need to make sure that uh, I can't place these side by side I believe because having a block in front of a door doesn't qualify or something I'm not exactly sure on what the qualifications are if they're long and complicated and having the complicated understanding complicated mechanics in a game is not my business while trying to build a complicated farm obviously but yeah uh, hopefully I'll be in, uh, filling in more of this soon. Um, but my next thing is probably going to be filling in that over there. Because obviously you can see there's a bit of a mob problem with that. So, uh, it's time to begin farming up some more wood. Ah, for this next section! <laughs> oh boy. I'm going to go retrieve that and I'll be back with you guys with the rest of that farmed up. <laughs> Okay, I've gone through and filled out some more of the doors. Got about a good quarter of them filled out now, I believe. Uh, still have to put in quite a bit more. Like, a lot more of these need to be 
put in. Uh, however, um, that's probably going to be it for today's episode. Had to do a lot of grindy stuff. Once again, this project is absurdly grindy, so it takes a lot to do this kind of stuff. So hopefully I can, uh, with all this uh, grinding, get to the next part uh, pretty quickly. I just need to fill in a lot of doors between this episode and the next one. So hopefully the next episode's not just going to be me placing doors, because if it is, I'm going to be pretty sad, but it is taking a long time. Like, all these doors are over the process of the last three hours. It's taken so long to put in all these doors. Uh, mainly just because of the wood. The wood is taking forever to get. But yeah, uh, hopefully I can uh, move on to a either a different project or get this one wrapped up by the next episode. This project, I feel, I just want to get wrapped up. I really just want to finish this project. Like, it's a massive project. Look at this. The bottom portion is mostly done now. The uh, only real thing I'm missing on it is if I run around here is... Um, I need to go down here. Obviously, I need to fill in the top portion here. Obviously. <laughs> it's missing a lot up here. Uh, AKA just blocking uh, off the bottom part you can't see. And there's down here, which you mainly need the uh, bookshelves in for this area. But then when you look out the window, uh, you kind of need to fill in that portion there, which is just a bunch of planks, really. Uh, which is going to be half slabs for my case because I'm using uh, my birch farm to get all the... Uh, woods and they recently added the new uh, wood types so you need to uh begin actually using the half slabs like i have been so you need to fill that in and also uh that single thing of oak so obviously need to be doing that but hopefully by the uh start of next episode i'll already have a big portion of that finished so uh i will be hoping for that then however that's going to be it for today's episode so I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Uh, see you then. Bye.